Hello, today I've got a 6 inch composite digital caliper. Part number 63586. It says metric and ASE both, and it should be selectable here. It's composite, so it was $5.99. I got the metal ones for $9.99. Thought I'd give this a try. I actually thought this might be a little better than the metal. I've never broke one, obviously, because all the ones I have are steel. It's got the same battery compartment, same battery as the metal ones. I think this is truly a plastic copy of the metal ones. So there's the on off, just hit it alternative to turn it on and off. And there's the zero. You really don't want the zero to be there. You want the zero to be there. Problem I have with the metal ones is the batteries go completely dead too quick. That protector is on there so well. I'm afraid of damaging the display to get it off. There we go. Wow, that is really on there. Those are usually almost like a static cling, but that was really on there. So inches. What I don't like about this, on the metal ones, the battery goes dead all the time. But I have a scale, print it right on this, that I can use without the battery. This one, on the other hand, you cannot use without the battery. I consider that a negative. Of course, maybe this one doesn't have a battery problem. Only time will tell. But I like the feel of it. And also the metal one has the pin that goes down and lets you measure. The problem I have with these is they're too accurate. So say I want 10 millimeters. If I go to 10 millimeters, I have a hard time actually setting it for 10 millimeters. It's talking about a very smooth mechanism. And now you need to decide if I'm measuring 10 millimeters, do I really need 10 millimeters? Is 9.8 good enough? 9.9 .9 good enough? How accurate are your tools? So I'm not convinced that super accuracy here is that important. And that's one of the reasons when the battery goes dead, I just use the scale. I could be off half a millimeter, but I don't care because my saw blade isn't accurate to a half a millimeter. Bandsaw isn't accurate to half a millimeter. While you want everything to be as accurate as possible, a half a millimeter probably isn't that bad. If I try to hit a specific, say I want to hit 13, I've actually got to go here and adjust it. See, I have to provide force this way and this way to kind of control it not moving too fast. So I'm a big believer that this is probably too accurate, especially for woodworking. Now, it is accurate enough to measure 3D printers. On a 3D printer, you want to print a test cube. That's 20 millimeters. The problem is, if you're off a half of a millimeter in that case, you will not have proportional prints. So if a print is supposed to be 20 millimeters wide, it might be 19.5 or 21.5 or 20.5. So something like this comes in really handy because that machine is accurate to like 0.4 millimeters. So if you think about it, that accuracy is required there. And you get to zero it, so that's okay. They give you inside and outside measurements, but they don't give that scale and they don't have that pin that comes out to let you measure using the pin. Uh, so it has some limitations, but for $6.99, I can put this by my 3D printer and be ready to measure. I can also have it in the shop ready to use, but in reality, I'll use the metal ones. So only time will tell if the battery compartment is better, and it looks a lot better. It actually doesn't flex where the metal one's battery compartment does flex. The metal one has a wheel right here, which you can typically get finer control over this slide. So there you go. It's, uh, it's a tool to have. It's options. If you liked the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.